guys good afternoon today is uh, april 6th the time is 1:43 almost uh, the middle and uh, almost getting 2 o'clock so we just don't need too much of time we just need a little bit of time should be able to make $500 to like $1000 today uh, the market uh, is a little bit up no doubt and uh, it was down but came up again uh, very less volume uh most traders they don't like to trade for a long weekend because of that low volatility uh if i can make 500 dollars today great i don't even target for like 1000 dollars today because uh the professional guys are the one who are not there these are like uh, run by the kids that's what i can say at this moment in time okay <laughs> uh seriously some some new new boys on the block is like running the market when there's a low volatility that means the big boys uh it they are trying to take a off they're trying to go see their family and all those things so that's what it's all about when I mean, it's like a long weekend uh just trying to see how this we're going to play out mm. where is tesla 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 <laughs> amazon apple most likely they are working to the same side of it same way because uh uh this looks like a this can drop this can drop down uh that's a apple don't go to trade apple that much very likely i don't like apple that much or either so meta and uh, microsoft I don't know what happened to Apple. There's a week right over there. So Apple is moving very very slow. At the same time, this guys look like a looks like a let's go to put options. Uh should go for put options i'm just checking the way the tesla i was trying to i just picked up the tesla and thinking to go to the put but tesla is showing some strength let's just check other things they're sliding a little bit and with a low volume uh You know what? Let's just trade Apple. I like the Apple, but the thing is like they're not moving that great. Ah, god, no. The volume is low makes it very very difficult to trade guys. If the volume is low that is the part makes it difficult. Oh there you go shit. That's what I was talking about. That is what I was talking about guys. So god. Uh Okay, let's just trade to the downside guys. Tesla, I'm trading to the downside. I'm holding 40 put options god no holding 60 can come down went like a spring god like i said uh again tesla has a little bit of more power 
than all other stocks basically but it is kind of uh, killing me right now uh, my when I trade Tesla no doubt it's like kind of like a booming my heart again guys I just want to put a disclaimer trading is risky uh, consult your financial advisor or a broker whoever you take advice from uh, whatever I do in this video is for the education purpose only please don't take my advice because uh, I, I do a little bit of risky things and you should not do it that's what it is seriously uh, please consult your financial advisor because whatever I do is like very very risky things they are not easy you can lose most I can all of all money not most not likely all the money whatever you put in the account so please uh, make sure you take the right knowledge before you trade you know do some demo trading before you even trade that's what I can say to you guys please uh, consult your financial advisor again I'm losing so far 390 $395 dollars and this candle is about to close upside, which I don't like it. Okay, sold. I'm down. I'm down five hundred and twenty-five dollars. God, Jesus Christ! Just got me killed. Okay, I'm going again. And a downside for Tesla holding 65. I'm going to be very, very quick this time. Chop, 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 chop. That's what I need to do because sold. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. This will be so many shares. I have to trade today, probably. Uh, again. They are selling it. Check the volume. It's in red. Come on, one leg to the downside. Should be able to make me very good money. I should be able to recover my losses. Come on, come on. <laughs> Tesla can rip you off. No doubt, uh, no doubt. Whenever I'm trading Tesla, my heart is like beating so hard. No, no doubt about it. Seriously, I won't even joke about this. I I know how I feel inside. I know, but I I trade the chart. I don't trade the feelings. So, if I did trade the feelings, that would have like uh, I would have not. You would have seen me every time losing, 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 losing. I'm holding 80 options guys holding 80 options in Tesla God don't tell me that you want to go up Just like that, I'm losing almost like thousand dollars. I have added hundred options in Tesla. Sold half of it, losing one thousand. Please, 
people are selling. But at the same time, they bought it too. Some of the boys, they bought it. They sold, but they bought it. And I'm down thousand dollars. Check the selling part, but it's like only like hundred, 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 not like big orders, guys. Which is, uh, which is like not so good. Uh, need some big orders in order to move the Tesla down because uh, of that reason like it will not going to come down there like over 100 that means that's what what i'm trying to say low volatility that means the big boys are going mm, they're moving basically to their family and friends and they're not trading i hope you understand what i mean by big boys the big banks and all they are not placing their orders they took out their money out from the market they want to be safe Come on, come on, come on. If this candle is not going to the downside, then I have to go to the opposite direction. I'm holding 110. I sold half of it, bought again. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Don't go to the upside. Yes. Okay, so far I have, I was losing $1,200 something, but uh, came back up. I'm losing only $125. Just kind of watching guys, watching. Tesla is the one who's moving up and down, no doubt. Other stocks are, they are like moving, that, but not that much. You see this very low volatility. Okay, let's let's play call option on, uh, on uh, SPY. Let's just check. It can be a triple top, triple top makes a one, two, triple bottom basically. Not triple top, so I'm so sorry. This can go down. You know what? Let's just check Tesla. Shit. If it comes up, Tesla comes up, I'm gonna short it again. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's go in a call option for Tesla. It's like a dip trade, guys. Buying the dips. In calling 10. Every time it drops, I'm going to buy it. Buying a dip trade. Again, it's holding fifteen. Looks like it wants to go up. kind of like my heart is booming no doubt I'm holding a 30 call option in Tesla right now
goes down, I'm going to buy a little bit more. Hold on, not now, not now, because it's dropping like a rock. It's dropping like a rock. I'm losing $400. There's a buyer right over there. Okay. I bought more, guys. Again, this was a deep trade. Buying the dips. I'm already holding 50 call option in Tesla. And I'm still kind of losing $370. Just to let you guys know. But okay, I'm going to. It's kind of like still, I'm going to add up some more position at this moment in time. Wants to go up. Shit, what a what a what a week. Check this, guys. That's what happens if I would have like sold it over here that would have like boost some of my option way too up but again still kind of in the red The volume is too low guys, need some volume, again, the big boys, we need the big boys, without the big boys, we cannot trade this market also, without the big boys, we cannot trade this market. I'm up $485 lucky to have that move because uh, like I said again without the big boys uh, I cannot trade this market either uh, I mean when I say big boys I'm talking about Goldman Sachs Bank of America Chase the other one who are like holding major uh, shares in the all, all, all the markets and uh, I mean most they are the other one who are basically moving this market that's what i can say uh without them i cannot i cannot trade because i know they are not trading uh for the long weekend and all they are not doing anything so they're just i'm pretty much sure today they already moved out i mean like they're they're they're, they're going to see the family and all all the long weekends and all they they don't trade basically they don't trade so it's kind of risky to trade and uh, I like to stop at this moment I'm still kind of like up four hundred and eighty five dollars so I want to make that five hundred dollars but uh, uh, it's, it's risky how many shares did I trade Se 700 to total calls and puts 700 guys uh, so there's a commission right over there as well you know what I'm trying to say again in other words, in easy words, I say like, uh, I don't like to trade low volume. Uh, it, it The options are getting expired. And when there's a low volume, it's, 
it's not good because like uh, this is what happens like move it's like moving up moving down moving up moving down it's not one direction and i need a direction so in order to because i play simple things calls and puts those are basic one okay so that's the reason i don't like to do it because of that reason because i like my money don't get me wrong i love i love my money and i like to protect my man, money as well so and uh, and something like this i don't like to do it again because of the same reason because like it's not moving it's moving but the options are not moving at the same time you know it doesn't have that much of volatility so the volume is way too low it's only like a 50s you need like at least 500 you know 500 to like a million dollar volume that 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 moves the market that that makes you the those to get those moves and everything basically that's what happens uh so I, I don't want to trade anymore at this moment in time i'd like to close my uh video for today anyway please be careful up there if you're still trading you know like uh because uh, you can lose your money because of the low volatility you have no idea because uh who is doing what again it's not about that but it's all about like holding your portfolio strong basically not giving donation to the market you know because uh, like i said right now the big boys they are already moved out of the city when i call city that means most of the trading has been done in new york so it can be done anywhere but no, i'm not saying all you have to be done in new york but you know they, this is all electronic as long as you have the faster internet connection your order will going to get filled no matter what so yes uh thank you guys anyway please subscribe uh hit that uh, like button bell icon and comment below you know comment below uh if you make some money if you lose some money if you learn something uh, you know and if you if you need some help please let me know i can i can help you to grow your portfolio as well but i'm not doing it like you doing it uh, i'm i can just teach you how to do this you know like that's what i i can say i can teach you how to do this and uh, you have to do it on your own basically because you have to take learn to take the risk and everything okay but uh, this is the skills uh, okay these are the skills you can you can develop these skills okay but uh, i don't know how to tell you to stop that small person in your mind how to stop that guy okay i know how to control him in my mind i don't know how to do the do it in your mind so you have to do that part you have to learn that part that is the that is the most important part and that is what the most uh, traders they do if the person whoever is making money he knows how to shut that small guy who's talking to you back of your mind saying like you're losing you're losing you're losing you understand you can turn that guy off you can make money if you cannot control that guy you're going to lose money okay so <laughs> uh seriously i know that that your your mind is the one who's like controlling everything so you, your, your emotion your fears comes from your mind they are all illusional basically anyway in other words you know uh, so yes but your money is tied to your feelings so again uh you have to know when to when to start and when to stop you know that's what it is this is like a professional way of like gambling in other words professional way of gambling but uh, if you know how to stop and how to basically take the profit and run uh, you're going to make money otherwise you're not going to make money all right guys uh, thank you for tuning in again uh, and please uh, be careful again please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel Uh, like and share with your friends you know and uh, if you need some help like i said you know email me uh, in my description there's a email below uh, as uh, it's very easy anyway swiss capital gain at gmail.com okay all right guys thank you very much stay happy and stay wealthy and stay in peace bye thank you